Well, welcome back to another episode of watching Kodiak Thunder. My name is Kodiak, and today we're doing something a little different. You probably saw I had a spear there. That's because we're going spear fishing in the mountains. Um, kind of low foothills here. This is a lake about an hour away from my house, and I've got uh, rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, and yellow perch in here. Now, you're not allowed to spear trout in Alberta. Um, I assume it's because of size limits and I'm not, not really sure, but I can't spear those. The perch, however, they're not even supposed to be here. Somebody put them in illegally and there's no set bag limit on them. So I follow Alberta regs, which means I can have uh, 15 of them. We definitely got a good amount of wind today. Hopefully this mic is doing all right. I've got the wind block on it, that little fluffy thing. And uh, we're gonna throw the gear on. I got my wetsuit, weight belt, and all the dive gear I need, as well as the GoPro hiking in. It's only maybe a five minute walk up to this lake. We're gonna hop in the water and we're gonna get some yellow perch and uh, get a little cash and cook going. I'm hoping to get a full limit of 15 today. I woke up in a weird mood today. Maybe some of you can relate to this. I woke up, I felt bored, I kind of felt like just sitting around and uh, you know I was bored but I just I didn't have motivation and I know myself well enough that when I get into that headspace it's not good for me and you know I kind of have to force myself out because I'm already having a good time and I always know that if I make myself go somewhere I'll have a good time but sometimes it's just hard to get yourself off the couch so I said you know what Let's go make a short video. We're gonna go into one of the lakes nearby, spend about a half a day, go get some fish, cook them up tonight, and uh, make a nice little video for you. <laughs> this is a little mountain. Made it. Look at this. Take a look from up high here. To be honest, it's looking a little bit murky. I was kind of hoping it was going to be clear water, but it's been so hot out, there's just been a lot of algae. I did bring my spin rod, so if I decide that it's too murky, I can do a little fishing and get some perch or some trout that way. But I was really hoping to go Hop in the water. Well, I made the decision. I'm not gonna get in the water. It's just, it's too murky, there's too much algae. So <clears throat> I debated, it's super hot out. I don't think I wanna fish here. Um, we have time of day going on right now, which means you can't fish after two o'clock in the rivers. So I think I'll have just enough time to get to a spot and fish for like an hour in one of the rivers here, show you some fish. Well, I just checked the time, it is currently noon and time of day goes until 2 p.m. So at 2 p.m. I gotta be off the river, no more fishing. So this is gonna be a very hasty trip. But you know, if one thing doesn't pan out, don't just give up, don't just uh, accept that failure All right, the whole day. So I'm still gonna try and make something happen today. Um, I know a good spot with some really easy access pools, got some bull trout, got some cutthroat trout. We'll give that a shot. Even if I only managed to catch one decent fish today, I'll be super happy with that. It's still worth coming out for. We're going for salvation. We got an hour and a half to fish, and I just made it to the spot. This is a beautiful spot. Wait until I show you where. And uh, I got three pools here that I like to hit, so it's a real quick, easy spot to come to. And check this out. Can you see that behind me? <laughs> This is going to be good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mostly focus on getting the, the fishing done while I'm still allowed to. And then I'm going to get us some epic B-roll once two o'clock hits and then we'll mix it all together.
I realized something silly. I forgot all my GoPro batteries in the car. Fortunately, I realized that now. The car's only like 100 yards away, so I'm gonna run and grab those. I think we're gonna go up to the next pool. I don't wanna spend too much time at each spot because I wanna make sure I, you know, hit them all before end of the end of the fishing time. Okay. <laughs> Glad I went back. I left my car open by accident. But we're a little farther up. There's no people. I don't really like to film around people. I don't really like people in general. <laughs> At least not lots of them, but uh, got a nice little spot right here behind me. I got a big camera set up and uh, I'm just going to kind of wade up into that top area and cast through. I want to get right behind that rock. Um, I haven't caught anything here before, but you know, it looks like a decent little spot. Got a little area for the fish to get some cover. So maybe I'll be fortunate enough to catch like a little cutty or a little bull trout in there. Well, we officially have six minutes left to fish. So we're gonna fish this little pool here and then we're gonna call it. No way! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh! Devastating. Well, I'll do one more cast. I think I got time, but that was a huge cutthroat trout. Oh, that's such a bummer. Right up there in the head. That was bigger than. Again, there was two of them. Oh no! This is where they're all hanging out. I can see two of them. We got one. is a really big cutthroat trout. Come on. Oh, can you hear that? Oh, all right, I gotta get down to the other camera and to the net. Okay, we'll set you right here. Okay, 
Don't get off, don't get off. Oh. That's my alarm. So, fishing is officially over. Uh, I'm not sure if technically, I mean, the fish is on. I caught it before the end of the day. We'll get it in. This cutthroat is just dogging me right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. about that. I got two incredible West Slope cutthroat trout today. You know, I went out to go spear fishing for perch and it didn't work out. So hit up this river, had an awesome day. It's probably gonna be a real short episode, but come back next week. I got a lot of amazing stuff coming up. I got six weeks off of work. I got a five day backpacking trip uh, solo. I got a couple overnights and a four day where I'm going for golden trout way up in full alpine, no trees around. So it's gonna be some really amazing stuff coming up here. And I think I'm gonna hop in the water and cool off now.